Hey, it's Birdman for Birdman on the Mountain, hanging out here at the Birdman Media Studios, once again on Sholo TV and White Mountain Independent Television. It's time for another community shout. Uh, we're headed, of course, right after the 4th of July. It's, it was Independence Day yesterday, but heading into next week, we've got some things going on, don't we, gentlemen? Yes, we, yes, do. we do. Hey, I've got Everett with me, and I've got Doc. Some trails are happy ones, others are blue. It's the way you ride the trail that counts. Here's a happy one for you. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails, gentlemen. So uh, we uh, just gave a little intro before you guys talked of you guys singing. Okay. And uh, tell us, tell us what we're hearing there. Well, the first song was Caroline. It, it, it was written by Randy Newman, and uh, it's a very different kind of song for him. And I've never been able to find out why he wrote that song. Bum bum bum. A pretty little song has been pretty popular with barber shoppers. Maybe a girl named Caroline. I would uh -huh. guess that. <laughs> yeah, <it> could be. <laughs> Love's lost, probably. Who knows? Hey, um, so what do we got going on, and, and when is it uh, coming up here soon? Okay, we have a, our show is called Happy Trails 2. That would be Roman numeral 2, you, because it's a reprise, basically, of a show we did in 2005, 13 years ago, with some additions and changes. And uh, we're excited about it. It's going to be on Saturday. July 14th, matinee at 2 o'clock, evening show at 7 p.m. And tickets are currently on sale at the Pine Top Lakeside and Sholo Chambers. Snowflake. And Snowflake. Snowflake Chambers Snowflake. as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So all three places you can yep, pick up you tickets. Can pick them up early for $10 or it's $12 at the, door, at the door. So your choice. Obviously a family fun show. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. G-rated. G-rated. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Cool. Um, what can people expect to see at the show? Well, uh, you may notice, if you know Doc, he, just, he doesn't normally walk around with a beard, so I don't grow a good beard, so I'm, I'm like Rowdy from Rawhide, okay? I'm like, you know, I might have a, a few days growth, but we're going to be kind of in beards, we're going to be in costume and cowboy outfits and, and kind of picking a character. Doc is our cook, and he can tell you more about that. The rest lousy of us, cook. Yeah, lousy cook, lousy right. Cook. I've got some great recipes. Yes, and um, <laughs> I personally take very much umbrage with that in the show, and you'll catch on to that. It's a bit of humor here and there, so sprinkled in, along with a whole bunch of Western songs. Okay, cool. And we have two guest quartets. Oh, yeah. One, the man, male guest quartet is called Second Wind, and as we speak, they are uh, competing in the international competition in Orlando, Florida. And we say international, there's quartets there from England, New Zealand, Germany, Norway, Sweden, and of course the United States and Canada. So very it's good. a big deal. And they're, we think they're gonna do very well. And uh, so yeah. the other quartet is a ladies quartet called One Voice and they're previously regional champions and uh, They've gotten back together. They took a six-year layoff, but they're back together singing as well as ever, and uh, they're delightful ladies, and you know, you'll really enjoy them. Gives the show a little change of pace with the ladies. So, Very cool. Now, this is all barbershop quartet. Is that correct? It is. Okay. Yes. And that's pretty specific in the fact that these are all well-known parts, and anybody could drop into a part and be able to mix radium with the group without even having ever practiced with them. Uh, theoretically, if you know yeah, the songs, right. that's right, sure. Yeah. Yeah, barbershop style is a cappella, which is, means not accompanied normally. And um, it's four part where the uh, basically the center, second tenor part is the lead or the melody typically. The tenor is above that, the, the bass on the bottom, and the baritone meanders in and around the lead and, and uh, above sometimes, and <laughs> sometimes above and below the lead, mm -hmm. yes. So it's a specific style of, of music that was basically American made. Um, going way back to the turn of the last century and before. So it's been revived in the 20th century and it's still going strong to this day. 
Very cool. Hey, let's listen to a couple excerpts, and uh, then you'll tell us what, what we might have listened to there. Okay, great. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, when the sun bum, beats down bum, and burns bum, the tar bum, up bum, on the roof. Bum, 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 and your shoes bum, get so hot bum, you bum, wish your tired feet bum, were fireproof. Bum, 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 bum. Under the boardwalk, down by, down by the sea. Yeah, on a blanket with my baby is where I'll be. Bum, 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 bum. Under the boardwalk, mm, out of the sun. Under the boardwalk, mm, we'll be having some fun. Under the boardwalk, mm, people walking above the boardwalk. So what, would, what was the second song? Uh, the second song was Boardwalk. I think that's pretty familiar to everybody. And we like to sing it. It's a fun song, and, uh, and the audiences usually like it, too. And then so. the third song? Third song was Turn Your Radio On. Turn your radio on. Turn it on. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. Radio on. And listen to the music in the air. Turn your radio on. Turn it on. Heaven's glory share. Glory share. Turn your lights down low. And listen to the master's radio. And uh, that's, of course, a Just gospel, gospel, great gospel <laughs> number. Yeah, from the days of early radio, and that's what people gathered around the radio to listen to Very their cool. gospel programs. And it's a fun song. And then the fourth song. Fourth song. Uh, was. Uh, with Wild Irish Rose. <laughs> Wild Irish yes, Rose. Yeah, that's <laughs> traditional uh, style, barbershop style from the early 1900s, I, I think, even before. And... Uh, and basically, it kind of shows you the breadth of barbershop. It's if Boardwalk is the, from the 1960s, was it the? I I I feel like well, I suppose it's 98, the 1890s. Right? I don't oh, know. Yeah. Oh, Who temptation. did Boardwalk? Is that right? <laughs> yeah. I, don't, no, I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, well, from, a lot of people. I a think. lot of people have covered that. But what I'm saying is, it's 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 the so the scope of barbershop goes all the way deep into our early musical history in the turn of the 19th to 20th centuries all the way up through the you know late 20th century and they're still creating new songs to this day arrangers are working on new songs right now that a lot of quartets are getting into so it's awesome. just a fun style and they're singing barbershop to songs that we said would never be able to be barbershopped so there you go <laughs> yeah, it's amazing and of course the opening song uh, that we had showed at the beginning was uh the uh Tra uh, happy trails correct happy trails, happy trails that's right. from our show our theme and, song and do you know who wrote happy trails i do not okay it was dale evans oh if you remember the some of the some of your viewers will remember the roy rogers show and dale of course and she wrote that song a lot of years ago it was the theme song for that for that television show in the 60s i know i grew up watching it very cool hey well um thank you gentlemen for your time i really appreciate it remind them the details date location time saturday july 14th which is a, a week from this saturday and it's at sholo district auditorium and tickets are ten dollars in advance twelve dollars at the door and it'll be a great time and come see happy trails to you there you go choice of 2 p.m or 7 p.m awesome thank you much that's gonna be it for those guys we'll be right back with another person in just a second Okay, still hanging out here in the Birdman Media Studios, and now joining me is this bundle of fun. Hey, hey, it's Aaron Casey. How ah, you doing, sir? Doing good. So uh, we're hanging out. Stone's I'm, I'm going to make you get a little closer to my mic because they're not like those studio mics you're used to. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but uh, hey, uh, how's things going? How were how was the uh, music fest? Because unfortunately, it was the same day as I was oh, slammed. Music fest was awesome. We had we ran out of parking at one point, which was nice, cool. Then uh, we had a nice little change of the patrons. So oh, to okay. Speak. Yeah. So yeah. we had them fade out, come back in. We had record everything. It was a lot of fun. Nice. Yeah. And we were shocked because in the years past, uh, the person that put it together knew what they were doing more than I did. So we had a lot <laughs> more vendors and a lot more things going on. So Ooh. this year we didn't have near as much, but we had more beer. 
Congratulations to Pine Top Brewing Company. They won Brewer's Choice and People's Choice Award. Well, that's pretty this year. Yeah. yeah, good for them. So yeah, they were super happy. Do you remember which brews? The I can't. Yeah, that's a little them. on the spot. The, you know, <laughs> du, <laughs> Duble, I think is what they call. Oh one yeah, of them. yeah. That and one. then the Soul. Yeah. Okay. Soulless. We'll, we'll Soul, figure it out. Not Soulless, but if you, if you go yeah. in there. They'll know which ones they won. Oh, yeah, they yeah. definitely will. <laughs> so congratulations to them. It was a lot of fun. Awesome. That's Everything great to hear. really smooth, smiles, happy. Everybody was happy. It was good. We didn't have a fire. And no. We had, uh, it was warm, though. Yeah. It was bit, nice, though, in the, in the and then shade. Then toward the night got really nice, yeah. Yeah. So. And I will say, I want to thank everybody that came out to that thing, because beer and, I hate to say it, cigarettes go together. Oh, yeah. You know? Nobody. Stage three. Nobody smoked. Yeah. It was kind of an amazing thing. Yeah. yeah. This last few weeks has been kind of weird at, at outside venues and, you know, the lines den and stuff like that. And it's like, almost like, well, wow. wow. He's like, yeah. So anyways. It yeah. Could, yeah. And, you know, yes, a lot of people do smoke when they drink and uh, to taper off of that's good for them. Oh, yeah. Good. It was it was really good time. Hopefully we save a lot of lives. Maybe we'll do that too. You never know. Anyway, moving on to other time. things. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what, what's going on with uh, the chamber and what events do you have coming up? Well, my 90-day interim executive director, double secret probationary. No, yeah, whatever. Secret, it was, <laughs> yeah, double probation. That's passed. I am now official. Okay, cool. Yeah, Congratulations. kept me on. Thank you. They're crazy. That's all right. <laughs> I'm here. Um, we got our mud strut coming up on the 4th. Will this air by the 4th? Yes. No, it will not. The mud strut was yesterday. This is oh, the 5th. Oh, this is the 5th. Yeah, so officially the 5th. So, okay. Just but uh, we've been pushing that. that anyway. So, okay, yeah. In good. the movie, yeah. So, anyways, next. So I brought up all that information for nothing. <laughs> all right. Uh, we got our movie, Mamma Mia, The Flick with the Chamber. That's coming up in August. I don't remember the date right off the top of my head because I was planning on talking about other things. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's all right. No problem. It's all good. I knew it was going to be last minute, so I wasn't sure. Uh, what else do you want to know? Just, you know, so the Mamma Mia, you've got that coming up. Yes. Um, and that's, of course, uh, the, what is it called now? Because I know what we've Flick been with calling. the chamber. Flick with the chamber. Okay. Yes. Flick with the chamber. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Keep it clear, okay. Okay, there close. You and, yeah. Thank you to the, everybody that put in their different submissions for renaming uh but after thinking about it we decided there you go keep it close just to flick with the chamber yeah so uh and that's gonna be mama mia so that'll be a fun movie yep we'll have some wine so if you want to come out have some music, wine fun, listen to the music and of abba so any hope that we're gonna get uh flamingos again the next this year you know, we're talking about that. So the ambassador meetings, and I'm going to throw this out there. We are looking for more ambassadors. We have some, but we need we need more. Because we have, in one of our ambassador meetings, we all sat around and we bounced ideas on how to do some fun stuff that not only do we enjoy doing, but also highlights the business right. that we're doing it at. Uh, the Flamingos, we love it. We want to do something with that. We want to bring that back or something close to it. Uh, we have other ideas that we've been bouncing off, but we just need some more volunteers. So if you want to volunteer, become an ambassador, and help put the positive light on the Chamber of Commerce there and you on your business that you're representing, then send me an email. That's Aaron, A-A-R-O-N. I know you thought I was going to go <laughs> A-A-R-O-N. It is A-A-R-O-N at PinetopLakesideChamber.com. Nice. So, and thank you to your wife Very for good. calling me that. Hey, no, that was not my wife. That would be uh, Chief uh, Joe Shelley that started that at uh, oh. Sholo PD. Oh, you nice. Can thank, you can thank him for that. Well, one. he and Hill, but uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> He's the one that ingrained the, uh, that little <laughs> seed of knowledge in, in her, her head. head. That it stuck. So, yeah. <laughs> like oh, well. super glue yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> on a little kid's fingers. Um, anyway, so, yeah. Oh, mine. Awesome, mind. fun. Uh, yeah. So if you want to volunteer, get down there, help out the chamber. Yep. That that's how they drive, and I mean that's that's how things really happen. Is everybody coming together? Yeah, we things. have to have volunteers. I mean, it, right now it's me and Randy, and Randy's part time, and she's got run to the pines, and she does great, and I'm super happy to have her. But when we get to the events like the Mutt Strut or the High Mountain Beer Music Festival or our upcoming Fall Artisan Festival, anything that we do, perk ups whatever gotta have peeps need peeps yeah cool yeah awesome uh anything else you want to bring up uh we have some changes going on 
at the chamber. We've got different things that we need to talk about, things that have been going on in the past that were free or X amount of dollars. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm, I, there's been some changes to those. So if you want information about hanging signs, different advertising opportunities that the chamber has presented in the past, right? let me know because some of those pricings have changed, just to be honest. Yeah, so pricing structures, things like that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, obviously somebody new takes over. It's new. It's a new leadership. So right. you're going to be in instituting different things. And right. so check in with them before you make the assumption that, I well, I've always done this in the past. Right. <laughs> How it was doesn't mean that's how it will be right so very cool that's, that's awesome it. and i find myself keep crouching to get to your mic i'm sorry you could have lifted it up i don't know <laughs> it goes up short see, people see, see look at it uh, whoa and he kicks that mic yay aaron aaron's just good job, my studio good job. thanks yes. Jeff. <laughs> awesome cool hey thank you very much just to mess with your sound once again aaron casey <laughs> with uh, the pine top lakeside chamber of commerce thank you Birdman. thank you Hey, I want to mention to you, this weekend is the White Mountain Gem and Mineral Club presents the 21st Gem, Mineral, and Fossil Show. So it's their 21st show, I guess. Um, <laughs> the representative wasn't here, so I can't tell you. But you check out whitemountain-azrockclub.org. They'll get all the details. Uh, it's Saturday from 9 to 6, Sunday 10 to 4, and it's at the Honda Resort and Conference Center. Uh, you know where that's at. If you've got any questions, we'll put the links down below. Adult admission is only $2, and uh, juniors, which are 18 and under with a student ID, are free, accompanied by adult. I didn't know they had student IDs, but hey, you know. Seniors, 70 and over, you get in for a buck. So there you go. Uh, check out all the details. We'll put the links below. And, of course, you can find them on their Facebook page as well, which we'll link. Also, the Salvation Army uh, White Mountain Outpost has their annual celebration coming up on August 18th. It's going to be at the Sholo City Campus Gym. We'll give more details about that in the future from 4 to 7, so uh, watch for those details as well. Hey, that's going to be it for this episode of the Community Shout here at Birdman Media. Birdman on the Mountain is the show you see on WMI-TV, on Sholo TV, and also on the Birdman Media Facebook page. Thanks for joining us, and as always, say, if I don't see you around town, I'll catch you right here on the web. <laughs> <laughs>